everybody welcome back to a video and i'm standing up as you can see sometimes i like to stand up but my tripod was too short and now i got a new one which is tall it's not even on the tallest set and it can go to like about as tall as me which is cool but you know it's tall enough for right now i feel anyway that's beside the point it's christmas almost nearly it's the second of december that means it's the second day of christmas countdown Yes, I know I uploaded the other one today too, which is fine. So I'm going to review a Christmas movie. It's not like a classic Christmas movie or nothing. It's just I watched this one like the other day. So I was like, oh yeah, cool. This will be a good one. Ice Age. Mammoth Christmas. Well, a mammoth Christmas. This came out last year, 2011. I think it was exclusive to one supermarket. They're always exclusive to a certain one. And now it is, I think it's, who knows? It doesn't matter. Ice Age Mammoth Christmas. Now this is a short, a lot of people buy these and don't understand that this isn't going to be as long as Ice Age and I knew that, that was cool. Last year it came out, it's about £5, this year I picked it up for £3. I didn't see it last year and watched it for the first time the other day. I didn't expect much because, well, they're usually not that great. But this was great. Um, how long actually is it? 24 minutes. So it's 24 minutes, so don't expect it to be any longer. It is a Christmas short. Um, it does have a couple of special features. And it shows you Ice Age 4, which is now out anyway, so never mind. But um, basically, obviously Manny and Marula, his like wife, had a little baby and called her uh, Peaches. And Peaches can now speak and is all grown and running around. So that's really cute because before she was a little baby, now she's speaking. So she's kind of a main character now. And her, Sid and the two little crazy raccoony guys, I don't, I don't know. Um, what are their names? I don't know. Anyway, they go on a hunt to go to the North Pole, and um, yeah, basically that's the story. And oh, and they meet this reindeer. I think it's Prancer or Dasher or one of them. Yeah, they meet a reindeer, fine reindeer, and they all go on a trip to the North Pole. And um, but basically, it's quite good actually because it kind of goes around the how Christmas. Obviously, not really, but it kind of tries to tell the story of how Christmas began and like the story of Christmas trees. And they be like, oh, that's ridiculous. Like. Why is a Christmas why a tree? Why a Christmas tree? Because they've got like a Christmas rock, and you think, yeah, okay, fair point. Why why a Christmas tree? And it's like good, and I enjoyed it. And then they're like, you know, and it talks talk about like the invention of well, the naughty list and the nice list, and how where that kind of came from. If obviously they, that's not where it came from. They're just making it up. But because I say just set way back, which I always forget about. So yeah, it's like all the beginning of. The beginning of the Christmas traditions, like how Santa can get around the world in one night and how the Christmas tree came about and how the naughty and nice list came about. It kind of just jumps on them um, traditions, I've written the word now, traditions and expands on them and explains why and where they came from. And it's just fun and it's all Christmassy and I love it. I'm definitely going to watch it again this year. And I like that it's only 24 minutes because that's a good amount of time I think for a Christmas movie. I do like the Christmas shorts because is a good amount of time but they do have to i feel this one packed enough in to be good enough that i would say you should definitely buy this this christmas i mean don't like it too much because it is only 24 minutes but i'd recommend this one for a buy so check this one out this christmas you won't be disappointed if you like i said you'll like this if you like christmas spirit you'll like this it's a good christmas movie i'll definitely be watching it this year again next year and probably years to come and i'll make my kids watch it too one day if we still have DVD, who knows what's going to come around. Um, I think you can get it on Blu-ray, but I, I don't think I'd get it on Blu-ray, just because it's just a 24 minute Christmas movie, just pick up the DVD. Um, it probably looks nice on Blu-ray, but unless you get it in like a pack, you know, sometimes they do number one, two, three, four, and the Christmas special or whatever, then yeah, okay, go ahead. But yes, yeah, so this is Ice Age, A Mammoth Christmas, which is the Ice Age Christmas special for 2011. Uh, I would recommend it. I give it Hmm, uh, well I don't know, I give it like 4.75 stars out of 5. So even, I wouldn't give it 5 out of 5 because I, there is better Christmas. Okay, for a Christmas short I give it a 5 out of 5 for what it is. So yeah, go check out Ice Age and Mammoth Christmas. Okie pokey, now I will see you back here tomorrow, hopefully, for another Christmas special. If you have any ideas please, I am going to do top 10 Christmas movies and other Christmas reviews, but if you have any other ideas for Christmas um, videos you want to see, post down in the comments, because actually I don't have that many ideas, and there is a lot of days. So yeah, let me know down there what you want to see for Christmas wise, and there will be other videos in between, obviously like my updates and other random things that are coming along. 
So yeah, post down below Christmas video ideas and get into the Christmas spirit and it's all fun. If you're making any Christmas videos, let me know and I will go and check them out. But yeah, that's it for now and thank you for watching. Bye!